The DA says it will write to the public protector about the alleged misuse of state resources by President Cyril Ramaphosa. The president is accused of using the South African National Defence Forces Oryx helicopter to attend the ANC gatherings. The DA says Ramaphosa was seen landing in Valcom in the Free State using the military helicopter. Let's talk about this then with the DA's George Michikalis, uh, who is a DA MP and spokesperson on security and justice in the National Council of Provinces. A very good afternoon to you, George. I hope I didn't do too badly there with your surname. First things first tell us about how this came to your attention and why it was so troubling uh, well firstly good afternoon to Michaela. don't worry about the surname it's Greek to most people um, but uh, yes we we came across uh, the photos of the president um, uh, the president's event um, in Valcom uh, that happened on the 8th of October um, it was an event uh, that's part of the Letsema campaign of the ANC in the Free State, um, and he visited some ANC branches um, there. What is very concerning, um, I mean, if you have a look at the photos, um, it's immediately worrying to see the president in full ANC regalia sitting in a defense force um, aircraft. Um, so those photos were forwarded to us via um, a local councillor um, of the DA, and um, we have taken it up yesterday with the public protector. Mm -hmm. And given that uh, Sol Ramaphosa, yes, he's president of the governing party, is head of state, and that comes, as we know, with the perks, including uh, the responsibility of travel, as well as the safety and security. Are you, as the DA, convinced that there's no scenario possible where his arrival in, a, in SANDF a chopper would be explainable or reasonably explained? Well, firstly, I mean, the, the Constitution requires the um, SANDF to be completely impartial uh, with regards to uh, political parties. It is very concerning. I mean, we are two years ahead of an of a election where the ANC might likely uh, lose power, and, and you don't want a case where you have a defense force that's loyal to a specific political party. I do not buy the argument that uh, the use of the helicopter was essential for the president's safety. I do get the fact that he is the president of the country and there are some safety concerns um, but for, for the same price um, you can say well it's safe enough for him to make use of the Seapoint promenade for photo opportunities just before an election that's safe enough um, but he needs a, a military helicopter um, to get him safely into Valcom. Um, that argument simply does not hold um, also the, we hear constantly from the government that um, the defense force does not have enough resources to fulfill its constitutional mandate which is to safeguard the republic um, and yet resources are used to, um, to give the president lifts to ANC events, um, not to events where he uh, represents us as head of state, but ANC campaigns. And that simply is not um, ethically justifiable, in my opinion. Right. So in terms of what you said to the public protector, then, what do you want the office to probe specifically? Well, we wanted to have a look at, firstly, um, the, the use or misuse of these resources, specifically the Defence Force resources for party political events. Um, the current regulations do make provision for the President to, um, to be protected, um, but I also think that there is a line that was overstepped. Um, so we want them to, to uh, have a look at the current use of uh, SANDF resources and um, to come with a clear decision on uh, whether this is firstly constitutional and, and whether it is, um, as, as our opinion um, states, uh, an abuse of state resources. Taxpayers pay tax for the benefit of the country not for the benefit of a political party, especially not a political party that they're not necessarily supported. So the Public Protector's Office is busy, as we know. It's got a massive caseload that it still needs to get through, and these issues can often take a long time to conclude. Are you going to be pursuing accountability or responses from the President and the Presidency through any other avenues? Well, absolutely. Um, I think it is, it is necessary. If the, if the President really had regard for 
for uh, the resources or the constrained resources that the Republic has, especially the Defence Force. And if he really respected um, the, the separation of party and state, he would, of his own accord, um, refrain from actually um, using such resources. Um, it's not essential to, to his safety to use um, such resources. But I also have to say that it's not the first time that we have reported a misuse of state resources by President Ramaphosa in the Let's Emma campaign. Um, in July, uh, my colleague, the DA leader in the Free State, Roy Jankelson, reported uh, an event where the Free State Premier and the President handed over a state-funded um, house to a beneficiary, but instead of doing it uh, in their capacity as the Premier and the Head of State, they made an, a an ANC event of this. Um, that's a clear misunderstanding or deliberate misuse of state resources for, for the gain of the ANC. And it's interesting that you and I are having this conversation because at the end of September, the Public Protector's Office uh, issued a report about uh, the actions by the now Speaker, but then Defence Minister, about how an ANC delegation was basically given a lift right on a National Defence Force aircraft to Zimbabwe. The Public Protector said that was wrong, and then said that the President must, within 30 days, which would be the end of this month, um, basically give instruction on the issuance of a directive for compliance within the ministerial handbook in terms of the constitution to handle the practice of giving lifts to ensure cabinet members and deputy ministers act within the confines of the constitution at all times when dealing with state resources. But it would be quite a massive problem if post that report coming out at the end of September, the president had improperly himself been ferried on a state aircraft. Well, absolutely, and I mean, isn't it isn't it quite ironic? That was the uh, Zungula report, um, and and. Uh, it is quite ironic that it was a minister uh, in the president's cabinet. Now, the argument can be made, but this is the president. He, he actually has different perks um, coming with the job. Um, simply because he is currently entitled to um, certain uh, perks doesn't mean that, that it's right and it's, it shouldn't be questioned. Um, just earlier this week, my colleague, uh, Dr. Levon uh, Schreiber, um, actually questioned the, the free provision of, of water and electricity to ministers in terms of the uh, the proposals in the ministerial handbook. Um, so, I mean, there is a clear uh, but, uh, sort of a pattern of state resources that are being misused um, under, under the umbrella of, of ministerial or presidential perks um, that should be challenged and it should be questioned because that's not the purpose um, of taxpayers' money. At risk of getting ahead of ourselves here, should the public protector find against the president in terms of the use of this SANDF, uh, SA Air Force helicopter, what do you have in mind in terms of satisfactory remedial action? Would making him pay for the expense incurred by the military be sufficient? Well, I, I think that, that, that uh, ultimately um, the, the big... Uh, well, I want to say almost the, the, the big uh, prize would be that, that there is a clear uh, message going out that, that uh, state resources can't be misused in this way, not even by the president, for party political events. Um, he is entitled um, to certain perks as the, the head of state, but when it comes to party political um, events, it should be constrained to a very, very serious um, level. So, uh, firstly, that uh, judgment or, or decision by the public protector would be most important. And then also, uh, whichever rem remedial um, steps that the public protector would recommend to, to be in the interest of the taxpayer and the, the, the public um, that the president is supposed to be serving. George Michalakis, good to speak to you, sir. Thank you.